Hiya, signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love messages here. Today we're going to take a look at your um, person and their energy and see whether you can trust them. Um, can you trust what they say? Can you trust how they make you feel? Um, can you trust their energy? As always guys, these um, messages are general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see whether or not, um, you know, there are trustworthy energy here. Okay, you've got the world, the seven of cups, the king of pentacles, the king of wands. Um, the Seven of Wands, as well as the Sun card here. For some of you, you are dealing with someone whom you've or you might have recently met, or you know you've connected with this person. I see that you, the two of you might have connected online via digital communication or via dating app of some sort or social media platform. Um, so some of you, I feel like maybe are in a long distance relationship. Hence, why you feel the need to question their trust, their loyalty, you know, their commitment to you and their commitment to this connection here. So some of you, I feel like, because you're at a distance from one another here, um, you're really, and you know, you can't as easily, like, keep tabs on this person. Um, you're, you're really doubting. It's not that you're doubting. I feel like you're really questioning, rather, whether or not, you know, you can trust them, or you can trust that this is the real thing, or you can trust that, you know, um, it's all genuine and it's none of it is misleading here. Um, with regards to their energy, they feel like they're um, confident. They feel quite assertive. They're coming through as um, coming across as quite assertive. But when it comes to their emotions, I can see that someone is a little bit emotionally scattered. I'm also picking up that with the seven of penti with the seven of uh, sorry, seven of cups. Um, it can indicate a bit of a non-committal type of energy, okay? So um, it can, that's not to say this person is incapable of, a, um, of commitment or is incapable of being loyal. Um, it can, for some of you, maybe that's exactly what it means. Maybe that's exactly what it means. This person is not ready for a relationship. They may say they're, <clears throat> they are, but they're not emotionally available or this person, you know, can't, um, can't sort of commit to, uh, can't keep their commitment to, a commitment here. For others, I feel like this Seven of Cups, uh, emotionally scattered energy, could indicate that this person, I feel like, um, they have a hard time making their minds up. They have a hard time being decisive about, you know, whether or not they want a relationship or whether or not they want to com commit to this. Um, they may even have, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone, and I feel like maybe you're aware of this, who has fears of emotional intimacy, fears of commitment. Your person's energy also has choices around him or her. That's not to say you're not a priority, but I do want to point out that, especially if you're talking to this person online, I feel like him or her, they have other choices they could have chose from, or they have other connecting energies here that they may still be talking to. For others of you, I feel like the fact that this person has choices... Um, tells me that I feel like this person is someone who's very charismatic, who's very um, attractive, someone very, they've got a great energy and they have a lot of admirers around them. But I feel like just because they have choices, it doesn't mean that they're doing the wrong thing. You know, they have suitors here, but it doesn't mean that they're entertaining them either. Could be you though. You could be the one with the, with the choices. You could be the one who, you know, your energy is emotionally scattered because you you can't decide between this person or that person and maybe at the end of the day, you can't trust what you feel. If there's this inability to decide here, then, um, you know, if you're certain about someone or something here, there's usually a course of action that follows, right? Um, but the fact that maybe some of you are a little bit undecided about what it is that you feel for them, maybe that in itself is a sign. And maybe that you can't trust the feelings that you feel. They're not coming up, I mean, with this person, they're not coming up as being, um, you know, deceitful um, or being um, manipulative or anything like that. 
if anything, I feel like your person is a very open energy, a very warm energy here. Um, they could be a lot older than yourself, or they are coming across as very mature here. Now, for, for some of you, look, you, you could be dealing with someone whom maybe in the past they haven't they haven't been very committed in the past. That's not to say, you know, they haven't changed or they're not a changed person here. Um, but some of you, I do feel like you're dealing with someone whom has had done a lot of growing and evolving over the years. Or is just very mature, very wise for their age here. And again, just because they have choices around them or they have, you know, atten they get attention from other people, it doesn't mean that they're doing the wrong thing or it doesn't mean that they're choosing others over you or over this connection. The King of Pentacles. It's such a um it's such a contradiction to the Seven of Cups, because the Seven of Cups is a non committal type of energy, whereas the King of Cups is someone who can provide you stability, security, um loyalty, you know, commitment here. I feel like just because they may be emotionally scattered or a little bit undecided doesn't mean that they're incapable of giving you stability or they're incapable of committing to a relationship. I just feel like with regards to their emotions, they're coming across as a little bit uncertain or they too are questioning whether or not they can trust what they feel for you here. The King of Wands, the Seven of Wands, I feel like there is an attraction. There's a lot of attraction between the two of you. You can definitely trust the chemistry because it's there. Um, but I'm seeing maybe the two of you are... I'm getting that either you want two very different things or the two of you are just two very different energies, um, which can sometimes um, bring about some conflict, right? Or some resistance. You could also have an energy around you. For some of you, I feel like there may be someone around you or around your person um, whom I feel like is a bit of an opposing force. So whether it's a family member, a friend, or you know, um, a colleague, so someone here, I, I feel like maybe advising this person against the relationship don't know why they would be doing such a thing but it's like they not they are not giving them approval or they are not giving you their approval here it's an opposing force um i feel like this person is trying to defend your connection with them though the fact that he wears two mismatched mismatched oh let me try and get that out mismatched shoes tells me that um yeah, you're sort of not on even grounds, okay? So I feel like maybe your energies are just too, um, are very different. That's not to say, you know, um, different energies can't complement uh, one another because they can. They most certainly can. Um, or it could be that the two of you, like, you communicate differently or, you, you know, you, you want different things here. If you can find a way to cooperate one another, I don't think with one another I don't think that's going to be an issue otherwise maybe some of you are you know like for instance you might want a relationship you might want children or you might want marriage this person may want to be in a connection and not put a title to it or they may not they're happy to get married but they don't want children it's like I don't know that you see eye to eye with this individual or I don't know that you want the same things from out of this connection so you that's that's something that you're going to have to decide but overall, I don't feel like, I don't feel like, you know, this is someone who is lying to you or deceiving you. Um, I, I feel like this is someone who's quite, they're an open book. And when they tell you, you know, um, they want something, but they don't want to put a title to it. Really, it's their way of saying, you know, um, they want the convenience of a relationship, but without, without the actual commitment. So... You know, read between the lines here. But I feel like this person, you know, tells you like it is. If they tell you that they want a relationship, they want a relationship. If they tell you they don't want one, they don't want one. I just feel like that there's like an openness to them with the sun card here. Um, they're a great energy. I feel overall this is someone very, um, very personable, very warm. The energy is very vibrant, very inviting, very open. So if if you're actually doubting whether or not you can trust them, you can just blatantly ask them and they'll tell you they'll tell you what it is that um you need to hear or you, you know you want to know they'll tell you i feel like there's they've got nothing to hide here they're very sure of themselves um they've got nothing to hide is what i'm seeing the only thing that i do pick up like with the seven of cups is this person um this person can maybe there's a non-committal type of energy and if you can see red flag indicators pop up, then you can trust those red flags. 
okay otherwise the seven of cups could also be you know this person has a hard time um, emotionally deciding or has a hard time sort of um, making sense of their emotional clarity and with the seven of wands I feel like the two of you might want two very different things if you can find a way to compromise and find a middle ground great that that might work but otherwise um, overall I feel like they've got a great energy and I feel like there's a lot of potential a lot of potential if you can trust anything like sometimes you can't trust what people say right but you can trust the way they make you feel or you should trust the way they make you feel if they make you feel um, like if they make you feel um, like you need to question their loyalty um, or their dedication or commitment to you then that's saying something about them that's speaking volumes about them isn't it but otherwise with the Sun card I just get that yeah Trust the way they make you feel, however it is. If it's good, great. If it's bad, red flag. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you guys more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thank you all again. Bye for now.